my name is Crafty Jojo and I'm an independent Stampin' Up! demonstrator and um, today I'm going to post a very short explanation on how to score the envelopes for the envelope bum without an envelope um, punch board because some of you said they haven't got it and they wonder if they could do um, the tutorial without an envelope punch board so I'm going to show you how you figure out and which measurements you need to do your three envelopes so apparently um, you need three pieces of cardstock as I said before one is the big one which measures 11 and a half uh, squared and the other two are 11 by 11 and um, I've already done the big one but I'm going to give you the measurements for um, the 11 and a half square as well as the measurements for the 11 um, inch one and I'm going to show you how you're going to do it you just get your scoreboard out and you pop your cardstock in and can you see what I'm doing and you are going to not score you're going to notch at four three eights and at five three eights you just make a little notch four three eights and five three eights on the first side then you rotate and you are going to five five eighths and make a little notch here and uh, six five eighths which is here and then you rotate again and you go back to the first measurements, which was four three eighths, which is here, and five three eighths, which is there. And the last time you rotate and you go back to the second score measurements and that uh, notch, notching measurements, and that is five five eighths and six five eighths of an inch. And I'm quickly going to <coughs> mark my um marks with a pencil as well for just for the tutorial you wouldn't need to do that when you're working but the camera is not going to catch those little notches so this is what you've got so at this point you have on every side you have two little notches and now what you need to do is you can do it on your scoreboard but I actually prefer to do it on my paper trimmer because it's easy to align you are always going to align on any side where you, it doesn't matter where you start the first score mark or notch mark with your second on the other side so you skip this and you choose this so you you align this and this so the first on this side with the second on this and you are going to just score there and then you turn your cardstock and again the first with the second so the first on this side goes to the second mark on this side and you score it and you rotate and again the first mark here lines up with the second on the other side so this is not going to be super precise because I'm just doing the tutorial, but this is actually how it works. And the last, again, the first with your second, which is here. So second and first. Leaving you with these little triangles that you need to cut away. And that actually, basically, is giving you the same shape that you would not as pretty as the uh, envelope uh, uh, punch board would do but if you take these corners out it looks pretty much the same like what it would look like if you did it with the punch board I'm going to show you because the other one 11 by 11 I did with the envelope punch board but this is how you can actually do it so this is what you would have this is what your envelope uh, punch board would do and as you can see the gaps line up perfectly so this is what you need to do these are slightly prettier but this is good enough especially um, as these flaps are going to be glued behind the main envelope anyway so now you can just fold in your envelope and <clears throat> there you go so this is exactly the same size as this one so i'm quickly going to fold this one up and these are my two 11 by 11 envelopes. This one was made with the um, envelope punch board and this one was scored by hand. And Oh, sorry, that's the wrong one. That's the big one. <laughs> and this is um, the smaller one. And this is the big envelope. And the small one fits perfectly inside your big envelope. 
as you can see here. So you would have the space to score your lines here and get the depth and then you would score here and here. And then if you adhere it to this side and to this side, you actually can create your um, envelope arm without the scoreboard. So again, I'm going to give you the measurements for the 11 and a half square. You need to score on the first and on the third side. You are scoring at four and a half and five and a half inch, not scoring your marking. And for the third, uh, sorry, for the second and fourth, you have to um, go to six inch and seven inch. So this is for the big one and for the small one, for the 11 square, you score on the first and on the third at four three eighths and five three eighths and on the second and fourth side of your envelope you score at five five eighths and six five eighths so this is the measurements for the big one and two times 11 inch for the small one and if you uh, just cut out the corners um, like I've shown you now you can fold up your envelope and um, carry on with your project. I hope this has helped and um, thanks for watching and let me know how you get on. Happy crafting. Bye for now. Bye.